welcome back to my channel. My name is Kristen and welcome if this is your first time stopping by. So I know I haven't been on here in a few days and I did take a poll and it was about 50-50 and then it kind of kicked over back to the one it's once a day um, video option. Um, I honestly think I'm probably going to do every other day because it takes a lot of effort and I feel like I'm not really receiving the amount that I'm putting in, if that makes any sense. So I hope you guys are okay with every other day. I might still throw in a lot of extra videos if I feel like doing more than one a day, but I'm going to plan for every other day. Um, I also did have some videos pre-recorded, but for some reason my camera did something extremely weird, and even though they recorded, they did not like stay on the disc or something and they didn't transfer over to my computer when I went to edit them. So that is why you are getting a video late and I honestly am very very sorry about that but here we are and we are starting fresh. So I know I'm coming to you in this beautiful state with my hair in a turban but I am getting ready for the day um, and I wanted to show you guys some new products that I picked up in action and I wanted to share them with you um, and kind of do a day wear test. Again, this is another foundation, and it is one that I have spoken to you guys about previously where I got a test of it or a little um, sample, but now I got the full size, so I thought it would be a great time to try out this foundation, and I'm very excited about this one. The foundation I'm referring to is the new Bite Beauty, new, the new Face of Clean Change Maker Micellar Foundation. Yep. And mine is in the shade L30. Bite Beauty was doing a 30% off sale, so I picked up a few products. I got the primer for oily, or normal to oily skin. Then I got the foundation, and I also got the pre-makeup lip serum, so I'm going to throw this one on as well. And I'm going to do a video using these, these products today. And then I'll check in with you multiple times throughout the day, just so you guys can kind of see where it wears. So I'm going to put on the foundation now. I'll check in with you when I'm actually, like, all done up and my hair is done and everything. Oh, um... I burn myself so please ignore this I I know it's not pretty but I burn myself on my grill so just ignore that if you see it but yeah so let's get into this video and try out this new foundation so first I'm going to put on the agave lip serum it comes in a little tube with a plastic applicator it's really interesting to me so it's not like a regular applicator it's actually like a little rubber tip and it's very thin and I think it's just supposed to prep your lips and it has a little bit of a taste, but it tastes very sweet. Um, if I recall, Bite Beauty uses like only natural products so or ingredients, so I don't know. I'm going to zoom you guys in. So I'm excited about testing out this foundation. I'm first going to use the Normal to Oily Skin Primer. It's a skin optimizing primer. So I think if you have oily skin, it's supposed to neutralize it to like a normal skin. And if you have dry skin, they have another one for dry skin and that's supposed to optimize it to normal skin as well. Um, I've been wanting to get this primer for so long. So I'm finally getting it and I'm so excited. I wouldn't, again, you guys knew I was on a spending freeze, but I had this on my list for a very long time. And I wasn't really willing to pay the full price for it now, especially with everything that's happening in the world. So the sale really helped. I take about a pea size amount. I'm going to rub this between my fingers, warm up the product, and I'm going to smooth it across the face. This feels kind of... I don't... I can't tell if there's silicone in it. It has a little bit of a slip to it, but it's mostly like... It feels more like a moisturizer, so... We'll see how this performs. I've been trying out a couple different primers lately, and a lot of things have been total fails. Um, so I'm trying to uh, really figure out what I like. Um, okay, for foundation, I told you in the beginning, but I'm using the shade L30. And what I like about this foundation is that it does show the color through the tube. So you know, like, this should be the color. When I got my sample of this, this was the color that she gave me. So I'm excited about this. This also does have a, it's a squeezy tube applicator just like the primer, um, which is really nice because then it's easy to depict how much, or put on the back of your hand how much you want for the face. And I'm using a sponge to apply this because that's all I ever use is a sponge. So yeah, that's like a perfect match for my skin. And even though I'm not like laying out in the sun, I've been going for a lot of walks, so my skin has been getting kind of tan, which I'm not complaining about, but my skin has definitely deepened up a little bit. And I have tried this foundation on before, 
but I used it really sparingly because I knew that it was just a sample. So I kind of, I'm kind of interested to see if I would still love it as much as I remember. But as you can see, like it literally blends right into my skin. It looks like my skin, but just a little bit more perfected. The texture is not super liquidy. It's kind of, I'd say it's kind of moussey. Like it doesn't like move on my hand. So there is a little bit of a thickness to it but it's very lightweight on the skin. It almost feels like you're not wearing anything, which is really, really nice. I love the feeling of a really lightweight foundation that still gives you enough coverage to get medium coverage, I would say. And this foundation is probably gonna be like my perfect everyday foundation if I just want to throw a little bit of foundation on just to have a little bit more of a perfected base. It's perfect for that kind of wear. I'm just gonna build it up a little bit right in the areas around my nose because I've been getting a little bit of some freckles from the sun there. This does not claim to be a long wear foundation, so I don't really expect it to be long wearing or for it to last all day, but I will still check throughout the day because I feel like it's always nice to see how things wear throughout the day, just like I showed you the Giorgio Armani foundation. So we're gonna kinda stick with the same idea of just testing it out to see how it wears throughout the day, whether it's long wear or not. So I'm gonna zoom you guys in so you can see what my face looks like with the foundation. Getting really up close and personal, this is what the foundation looks like on my skin. As you can see, it literally looks like I'm not wearing any foundation. You can still see my skin through the foundation, but it just looks more perfected and it looks like there's a little bit of a hydrated suppleness to the skin. I really, really like how this foundation lays on the skin. I really feel like it's very impressive for how it wears and how it lays beautifully on the skin. So I'm really quickly gonna hop off camera, do my concealer and my powder, and then I will come back to you guys and show you what it looks like with my full face on, and then I will probably check in with you later on once I finish all of my makeup and my hair. Okay, so the rest of my makeup is on. I used my e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer and then for my t-zone I used my stay matte powder and for the rest of my face I used the elf halo glow setting powder so I tried out this new powder I tried it out in another video that I ended up not being able to put up because I lost the footage um, but this was my second attempt at using this so we'll see if I like it this time but I put that on like the cheek area and on the outer portions of the face but used the center part to make sure that that remains matte throughout the day so I'm really quickly gonna hop off camera finish the rest of my makeup and do my hair, and then I will check in with you guys to show you how everything looks and how everything applied on top of the foundation. So the rest of my makeup is on, my hair is done, I'm gonna go do some stuff around the house, I have a lot of cleaning to do and a lot of baking to do for Easter, so I'm gonna go take care of those things. I really quickly just wanted to mention that everything applied absolutely beautifully on top of the foundation. There were no issues of skipping, there was no like blending issues, everything just went on seamlessly. But I do want to point out out, that this foundation does sink into my fine line so I'm gonna really quickly show you guys so I don't know if this lighting is going to do it justice but I do have a few forehead lines that sometimes foundation can sink into and this does sink into those lines this isn't anything super unusual but it is something I just wanted to point out because it may become a bigger issue throughout the day so overall I really like the application of the foundation and I'm curious to see how this continues to wear throughout the day so I will check in a few more times throughout the day to let you guys know how it is doing how it is performing and if there are any issues that come up with it so I will see you guys in a little while okay so I've had this foundation on now for about two and a half hours and no actually it's been three hours and I wanted to show you a little bit of an update so um, where my foundation tends to wear off which is around this area because I touch my face a lot it actually is still holding up and it has not creased into any like smile or um, like mouth lines at all but as you can see there's a little bit of gathering in my forehead lines from my expressions on my forehead between my eyebrows um, I do tend to already, like, that's like an area that I already already tend to get foundation, like, in my lines there. So, it's nothing super unusual, but I did want to point it out. However, I did want to mention that I have been doing a lot and my skin still looks pretty matte. So, I think that this primer is doing a really good job with, like, optimizing my skin and making sure it kind of stays at, like, a normal balance and it's not letting my oil take over. So I will do another check-in in a few hours and you guys will see where it stands. I'm going to go do a workout and then I'll let you know how it wears through that and then I will see you guys in a little while. Okay, so final check-in of the night. I've had this foundation on now for nine and a half hours 
and I have to say it's worn really beautifully on the skin. Other than those lines that I pointed out really early on in the video, I've had no issues whatsoever. So I'm going to zoom you guys in so you can see an up close and personal view. So you can see that my chin has a little bit of it worn off, but there is still some standing. Around my nose where it usually gathers, it's actually still doing pretty well. It has not fallen into the creases of my mouth very much. A little bit on this side, but not nearly as bad as the Giorgio Armani foundation. This is way smoother in terms of wear for that. So same on this side, no creases. Yes, I am a little bit oily, but this is nowhere near as much oily as I usually would get with a long wear of foundation for a day. Um, you can see the oil and the creasing in the forehead area and between my eyebrows, but for the most part, it really still looks flawless. So overall, I have to say that this foundation is literally one of the best foundations out there on the market that is perfect for medium wear foundation for a regular day, something that's lightweight, doesn't feel like you're wearing anything, still covers and smooths out your complexion without it feeling heavy or cakey, and still gives you a really flawless, smooth finish. I really liked the primer as well because I've tried this foundation out before and I, I, I loved it with itself on its own, but I think this primer does something magical because my foundation has never stayed somewhat of a neutral balance on my skin. I've never had normal skin and my my foundation really does just get oily throughout the day. So I think something really magical is happening with this skin optimizing primer. I think that it really does neutralize my skin to make it more of a normal to regular skin instead of a normal to oily or normal to dry if you guys are on the drier side. So I highly recommend this foundation and this primer. I think these two together are a dream team. I would highly recommend getting them and I will probably repurchase as this is gonna be my new everyday foundation Without a doubt, easy to wear, absolutely love it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you guys maybe saw a little bit more of an in-depth like, wear test of this foundation. I'm not really sure how many reviews are out there on this foundation, but I am so glad that I was able to show, share with you guys my experience. I appreciate you guys spending your time with me. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below to join my family here on YouTube as I would love for you guys to join my journey here on this channel. I hope you guys had a really wonderful day. I hope your day continues to be wonderful and I love you all so much. See you in the next one. Bye guys.